Now we're going to talk a little bit about design considerations. The design for machine-wound spiral PVC liners is conducted in accordance with ASTM F1741, which only recently was revised this year, and that includes options for fully deteriorated pipes and partially deteriorated, and also composite design systems, most often used for non-circular applications. So again, the ASTMs. There are two ASTMs associated with the PVC machine spiral wound liners. There is ASTM F1697, which is the standard specification for PVC profile strip for machine spiral wound liner pipe rehabilitation of existing sewers and conduit. This is essentially the material specification for any materials used in accordance with this method. Then there's ASTM F1741, which is the standard practice for installation of machine spiral wound PVC liner pipes for the rehabilitation of existing sewers and conduit. This standard includes the installation method and also within the appendices, the methods for design. In addition to these standards, which I must say are used in approximately 70% of our applications around the world, it's not just used within the United States. It's used frequently throughout Asia, throughout the Middle East, throughout South Africa, for example. This particular ASTM suite of standards is used for design. Additionally, there are other standards applied internationally. The ATV DVWK M127E, it's a standard originating out of Germany and is used within Germany and Austria, for example. But even in that case, they do resort to the ASTMs when composite liners are employed, i.e. steel reinforced liners. Additionally, there's the WR2, uh, WRC Type 2 philosophy, which is for a standalone unbonded structural liner. These products are approved. WRC approved, and those approvals reference the ASTM design methods. As the WRC the Sewer Rehabilitation Manual, the SRM, does not actually provide a method for design with profiled wall pipes. In Australia, we do actually use a variant where part of a direct berry pipe standard is employed, in addition to using the ASTM for the deteriorated uh, the partially deteriorated design condition. Of course, the global market can be quite fractured in certain areas, and other countries do have their own national standards which they do employ. For example, France has its own standard. Okay, on ASTM F1741, the fully deteriorated pipe condition, which frankly, is what we do most of our designs in accordance to. It, this is where the existing pipe is not structurally sound and cannot support the soil, the surcharge, and life loads, or is expected to reach this condition over the design life of the spiral arm liner pipe. This condition is evident when sections of the existing pipe are missing, the existing pipe has lost its original shape, or the existing pipe is corroded due to the effects of the fluid, atmosphere, or soil. In short, the liner has to be designed to resist all applied loads, soil, superimposed dead load, vehicle loads, and hydrostatic loads. And you see there an example of the calculation coming from the annex within the ASDM. The partially deteriorated design condition this is where the existing pipe can actually support the soil and surcharge and live loads throughout the design life of the rehabilitated pipe. And the soil adjacent to the existing pipe can provide adequate side support. The conduit may have longitudinal cracks and some distortion of the diameter. In short, the liner within such a pipe must be designed to resist the hydrostatic load 
applied by the water table only. All other loads are resisted by the existing pipe. It is important to carefully consider the water table information provided, including what time of year any information was gathered, i.e. the potential differences between the end of summer and the end of winter. In particular, there have been instances where people have specified a particular water table, and that water table has been for a short-term consideration, a flood condition. Now, whilst that may be the worst case, that sort of requirement is a short-term requirement, not a 50-year design requirement. It is important to consider the difference. On this particular slide, you see an example of the particular equation used within the design standard for the partially deteriorated condition. Composite designs. Now, designing composite product liners, this is where you have a high strength structural mortar, is not quite so simple to boil down to a, a few pages within a design standard. And so within the ASTM, it says for non-circular pipe, arched, oval, or rectangular shaped pipes, or a combination thereof, that a design of the spiral wound liner pipe for these non-circular shaped pipes is complex and specific to each situation. The manufacturer shall be consulted for design recommendations for the rehabilitation of non-circular pipes. In larger sizes of non-circular pipes, a reinforcing framework for the steel reinforced profile strip liner may have to be temporarily installed to support the live grout load. In essence, the design approach here is quite often one that requires finite element analysis 